Every business needs to file its purchase return, based on which it also becomes eligible to claim ITC or input tax credit. Under GST, this purchase return is called GSTR2 and it has to be filed by the 15th of the following month. Let's see how ClearTax GST auto-populates your GSTR2 and makes filing GSTR2 a breeze. Let's start with your ClearTax dashboard. Click on GST Filing. Here is the thing about GSTR2. When you file your purchase return, it is assumed that your suppliers have already filed their sales return by that time. So it is assumed that the government has already received the details of your supplier's sales which form your purchases. In this video, we will try to understand how to file your GSTR2 returns using pre-populated data, that is, using business A. Once you understand this, you can follow the same procedure to try filing GSTR2 using your own data on business B. To begin with, click on Work on this on Entity A from your GST dashboard. It will take you to the GSTIN dashboard of this entity. On the top left of your screen, you will see the name of this entity along with the GSTIN. On the top right of the screen, you see the month of the return. This will be by default your last calendar month. That is, if today is June 8, 2017, the default month selected will be May 2017. This is because you need to work with invoices from your last completed calendar month to file your returns for this current calendar month. Therefore, you see the default month selected as the last completed calendar month. Let's give you a quick process overview of filing GSTR2. First, you need to make sure all your purchase invoices are in the ClearTax system. Then, you need to download sales invoices of your suppliers from the government portal. Once you have your purchase invoices and your suppliers sales invoices, you need to match those two and reconcile for any errors. Once you have reconciled, you need to indicate to the government the ITC that you want to claim. Once all this is done, you are good to file your GSTR2. ClearTax GST makes doing all of this very very simple and easy. First, we need your purchase invoices in the ClearTax software. If you are using our invoicing solution, those purchase invoices will automatically be populated in your GSTR2 section. If you are importing your purchase invoices from other softwares, please watch our video on importing data into the ClearTax software. For now, let's assume that your purchase data is in the ClearTax system. Let's go ahead and see how to file your GSTR2 with this data. Click on Take Action and you will be taken to GSTR2 Summary. Here, you will get a summarized view of all invoices. Under View My Data section, you will be able to see the different types of invoices. You can toggle between these types with just a click. Now, here is a quick tip. You can use the All Type Summary as your first check to ensure all the data recorded by your accounting software has been correctly imported into the ClearTax system without any data loss due to manual errors. You can do this by checking the total here with your number. Now, let's look at the different filters that simplify your life. For example, you can click on Invoice Type and select Invoice Type as B2B, B2C Large, B2C Small and Exports. You can also select the subtype to filter amended and non-amended transactions. Further, using the filing filter, you can also filter invoices which are not uploaded yet to the government, invoices which are already uploaded to the government, and invoices which have been uploaded to the government and filed with the government. You can also filter by vendor or vendor GSTIN. Lastly, you can add new purchase invoices to this GSTIN by clicking on Add New Invoice at the top. Let's move to the Match and Reconcile tab. This is to match and reconcile your purchase invoices with your supplier's sales invoices. We already have your purchase invoices in the system. But where do we get your vendor's sales invoices from? Of course, the government portal that is GSTN. So go ahead and click on Download from GSTN. This will download your vendor's sales invoices into your ClearTax system. Before we go further, you need to understand that there will be scenarios where your purchase invoices may not match with your vendor's sales invoices. To claim your ITC, you need to reconcile these mismatches first. With ClearTax GST, it is simple to view the mismatches and correct them. Let's see how. In the Match and Reconcile tab, you get to see your purchase invoices along with the vendor's sales invoices. We automatically do this matching. Once we do the matching in the background, we highlight the matched invoices with green and mismatch invoices with an orange. Let's look in further detail how you can resolve these errors and reconcile. Let's start by displaying all the mismatched invoices. You can do this by choosing all the options in the mismatch type filter. You can now see only the mismatched invoices. Let's click on one of the invoices highlighted with an orange. Here you see the various mismatches between your purchase invoice and your vendor's sales invoice highlighted in orange. You have two options here. We can accept values from your vendor's invoice by clicking on accept vendor values. We will automatically update your purchase invoice and thereby resolve the mismatch. Your tax values will also be calculated based on the values in the vendor's invoice. The other option is you can keep your values. In this case, your values will be assumed as the final truth and your tax values will be calculated based on the values in your invoice. 
Once all your invoices are reconciled this way, you can move to the claim ITC section. This tab shows you list of invoices against which you can claim ITC. Let's see what we can do here. Let's look at the first invoice. As a taxpayer, you need to define the category of this invoice as input, input service, capital goods or none. Let's go ahead and define this as an invoice related to input. Then you need to decide the ITC which is available and the amount which you would like to claim for this invoice. Let's say you want to define 100% as available and also define 100% as the amount you want to claim. You can do this action for each of your invoices or you can also use our bulk actions. To take bulk actions, click on the checkbox next to type. You will now see a section appear at the bottom of your screen. You can bulk define the category, available and claim values here for the selected invoices. You could also use our filters to select invoices for which you'd like to apply this bulk action. Once you have set the values for category, available and claim for all your invoices, you can save it by clicking on save ITC values. After this, you are good to go ahead to the GSTR2 filing tab. Here you will see a summary of your claims and reverse charges by invoice type as well as HSNSAC. Have a look and once you are happy with what you see, go ahead and file your GSTR2 by clicking on file GSTR2. Super simple, isn't it?